Much. There was a hotel in the 1800s, the late 1800s. It burned down early 1900s or somewhere around then. It was called the Hotel San Marco because its driveway was right here off of San Marco Avenue. And, uh, so easy to name things here. You guys are going to be good at this. So you know that Civic Center I told you about? The most recently built Coquina building right after we pass these trees. It's the next building that will show up on our right. It's now in use as our visitor's information center here in town. So that is the newest Coquina building in St. Augustine from way back in 1937. And if you start looking left, you're going to see the oldest Coquina building in town. There's that fort that I told you about. You can walk around the fort even if you don't go inside to the museum. There's a dry boat around the entire fort. And you can see the palm log wall coming off the fort. That's exactly where our protective city wall used to sit, but it was 18 feet high. Do you know that city gate I told you about? Look right. Those pillars right there. That's the most recent rebuild from 1808. There used to be a man-made boat and a drawbridge right there. So if you go to the fort, you're going to learn a lot of history. You're going to learn to Spain made Florida Spanish. We became British for 23 years in the middle of the 1700s, and then we became Spanish again at the end of the American Revolution, and then 1821, the United States purchased Florida from Spain, making us a U.S. territory, a U.S. state in 1845. You can also learn that history right here at the Pirate and Treasure Museum, not just for the kids. There's some fantastic artifacts in there, some really interesting stories to learn about piracy.